Not for Johnny right here. Johnny helps out on a repo. Johnny, what are you doing? And things take a terrible turn. No, Johnny! Oh, God! Oh. And... Can I help you? Amy takes one for the team. Hey, Matthew, little bitch. They don't come here! Bo, I'm not gonna give you a job to nobody else. Who am I gonna give you a job to? What are you doing here, cuz? Johnny, Johnny! Oh, there he is right there. Stay in the truck. I'm gonna go grab Johnny. You really? You, seriously? Johnny's doing repos then? Johnny, what are you doing? What Johnny, you, doing? you can't do repos by yourself. Oh, somebody's blocking him in. Johnny, do I need to come help you? Oh, hey, 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 who are you? That's a repossession, man. I'm repossessing. You ain't repossessing. Johnny! 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 Johnny. God, look at the equipment, dude. Dude, are you okay? No, man, I'm hurt. Oh, I should have stayed at the house. You're gonna kill him. You just know that. If I get my hands on him, I'm gonna kill him first, B. Son of a gun. Shit right there, Johnny. This ain't gonna be good. What are you thinking? Uh, what are you thinking? I'm sorry, man. I messed up. I'm sorry. I was gonna take care of this. You can't do repos by yourself. You like got everybody killed, and you just rented a hundred thousand dollar piece of equipment. No, we can't get paid for it, man. No, we can't get we paid. Can't. Take it easy, on me. I ain't asked you to come out here now. You know oh, you got us killed. Oh, you now, get easy. I hurt my damn arm. How about me? If you you be out here, I wouldn't be hurting again. Get in the car. Just get in the car. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Oh. You lucky we didn't leave you under that backhoe, Johnny. I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm just trying to help. Hey, Johnny, 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 That's your kin, folk. God almighty. What took you so long anyway to get to the fight? I can't run, Ronnie. I got screwed up ribs. Oh, God. I should have never came out here. Hey, Amy. Hey. This package just came in. A bunch of papers. I don't never get sent anything good. When you get a package, it should be something like candy. A nice little treat or something. Exactly. What is going on with you? Well, let's see. I'm out there today minding my own business, doing my own thing, and my wife lets my idiotic cousin take the paperwork to go get this backhoe. I had to grab Bobby, who was already injured, and chase him. The construction workers decide they want to beat me down like an Indian drum on a wedding night. Bobby is hurt again, and Johnny flips the backhoe, tears it all to pieces, almost kills himself. Wait a minute. I did not let him take anything. He just took off. Amy, they beat us. I mean, these are huge boys. So where's the backhoe sitting right sitting now? Sitting on its side at the, at the construction place. So everybody gets beat up, and I don't have the equipment. I understand that Ronnie's all stressed out because Bobby's out hurt, but I'm not gonna take the blame for Johnny's stupidity. Who brought Johnny back? That would be you, my friend. I needed help. Now Bobby's hurt even worse, and I don't know when he's coming back. And on top of that, Bobby's already mad about all these bills he's got, so now I gotta find a way to help Bobby. You know, Bobby is a whole lot more than just an employee. He's like my brother. 
I feel like I have to help him. Them boys beat the brakes off me. Well, you can thank Johnny for that. Today, if Bobby ain't coming there, you'd be visiting me at the hospital right now. I'm telling you. I mean, Amy, that's my best friend. He's like my brother. I got to do something for him. He can't, he can't work like that. I don't know where mine and Cassie's relationship is heading to right now. We're spending an awful lot of time together and we're working on our trust issues, but I honestly think she's got my best interest at heart. You just in time. Yeah. How you feeling? Dave Drew, I'm feeling a little worse than I did yesterday. What? Well, I went on a repo with Ronnie. You did what? Some guys jumped Ronnie, he needed my help. Don't look at me like that. He's not gonna pay you unless you work while you're still hurt? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. He has done absolutely nothing to make you think that he is gonna help you. Look, back up off my buddy, okay? I got faith in him, he's gonna come through. I'm not worried about I him. hope you're right. I know I'm right. Hey, I had faith in us and look where we're at right now, right? You went off, you went missing, you were gone. Faith brought us back, here y'all, okay? True. Okay then, so give a brother a little pat on the back for that. You need to go talk to him, honey. Maybe it's time I do have a talk with Ron Shirley and say, hey Ron, what are you gonna do to help me out? I'm gonna go talk to him today, promise. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to work. Well, I appreciate you coming by and check on me. Take Thank care you. of it. Yes, ma'am, I'll get better. What's up, bud? Hey, what you doing, son? Hey, man, you got you got a minute I need to talk to you. Yeah, I was just getting ready to clean out my truck, but it can wait. It's all right. Look, man, being hurt and being outlawed, I ain't got no idea when I'm gonna be able to come back to work, and, and money and stuff's tight on me right now. Well, man, I kind of know that, dude, so I got, I'm putting some stuff in, uh, I got some plans I'm working on. But the hospital's calling me, like, every day, you know, and I say, well, if I tell them, hey, my buddy Ronnie's got a plan, they be like, we don't want a plan, we want some cash. Well, give him some money. I ain't got none, bro. I'm hurt. I can't work. I ain't got no money. Well, I got a couple irons in the fire. I think I'm gonna be able to help you out with the money. It's gonna take me a couple days. I mean, if you got a plan, let me in on it. I mean, that's what we do. That's what brothers do. If you got I a mean, plan, I tell am. me. I got some irons in the fire. I'm trying to find some work where you don't have to do any kind of repossession. I got it. I got it. What I am just... I supposed to do in the meantime? And I'm worried about you gonna replace me. Dude, where do you get that from, Bobby? Why would I replace you? Because I can't able to work. You need, you need some help from time to time, and I ain't here. Bo, I'm not going to give you a job to nobody else. I mean, nobody else can do your job, dude. Who am I going to give you a job to? What are you doing here, cuz? Coming up. Give me somebody in charge. Look, dude, don't come out here. Freaking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be able to help you out with the money. It's gonna take me a couple days. I mean, if you got a plan, let me in on it. I got it. I got it. What I am just... I supposed to do in the meantime? I'm worried about you gonna replace me. Dude, I mean, where do you get that from, Bobby? Just... Why would I replace you? Because I can't able to work. You need, you need some help from time to time, and I ain't here. Bo, I'm not gonna give you a job to nobody else. I mean, nobody else can do your job, dude. Who am I gonna give you a job to? What are you doing here, cuz? You know, I almost got Bobby calmed down and got his mind relaxed, and then pops Johnny. Why are you even here? Oh man, I just come come to apologize for messing up the other day. Oh, you carrying Johnny with you on repos now? But no. you ain't replacing me. No, no. I'm no, you him. you carrying him, but you ain't replacing me. Who you me. want me to carry? Cassie was right. What are you Cassie talking about? Cassie was exactly who? right. Y'all have a good day, man. What's she filling your head with now? Are you actually listening out, girl? I mean, really, B? Hey, let me know when your plan comes together, all right? Where are we going here? Why are you even here, Johnny? Man, I just, I come to apologize, Ron. I screwed what? up. I screwed up the other day. Good, you apologize. Bye. Does that mean I got my job back? No, Give me... it means you need to leave. Come on, boy, we're family. I got now. stuff to do. Give me a second chance, man. Give me a second chance. That's all I ask for. I will. I'll give you a second chance to walk to your car. Right. Come on, man. Hey Grace, did you get that stack put in? I did. Well look, I've been calling on this one repo, uh -huh. but I don't know if it's going to be useful to the guys. Mm -hmm. 
can I help you? Where are them sissy ass boys that dumped my backhoe yesterday? Somebody owes me about $90,000. Find me somebody in charge. Uh, I am the person in charge. Find me somebody with some balls. If you need to talk to someone, you can speak to me. And note, this is my place to work, oh. so don't come in here with your attitude. I need somebody in charge, you mouthy little bitch. Dude, don't come here! Freaking thing! Really? That is a soul on a female! Grace, call the cops right now! Relax. No, it ain't no yeah, freaking relax. relax. Relax! You came in here with your freaking attitude, you ain't gonna do nothing to me! Best thing you can do is get to stepping, for they arrest your stupid tail! Grace, call the cops! If you don't call when I tell you to, then bottom line, Grace, is they get away. Sorry, it just really shook me up. I can't believe that Grace froze up. She couldn't even dial 911. I cannot have someone working for me like that. I'm just, it just caught me off guard, Amy. Look, if you don't toughen up, the lick just isn't the place for you. Coming up. Wherever these two boys are, there's always trouble. Bobby has a run-in with the law. Hello? Look, the phone's are ringing. Go get them, Juicy. Got it, got it. I'm doing the best I can. Go okay. ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hi, you gotta be kidding me. Unfortunately, I'm unable to take your call. Amy, I need to know where you're at. I mean, we need some help down here, because I gotta keep Bobby off of repos. I can't let him do any more repos right now. You know, my mama taught me a long time ago you don't have to sell your mule in order to buy a plow. And I've got a great idea on how to help Bobby get some money to pay those bills, and it's gonna be an easy job. Hello. Vincent, how you doing, buddy? Ron Shirley? Yeah, don't hang up. Don't hang up. Just wanna talk for a minute. I know last time, man, that things went over like a pregnant pole vaulter, but uh, I'm in kind of a bind. If you're willing to give us a second chance, Bo, me and Bobby would love to come out and do some security work, man. Uh, out of the blue. Um, I mean, the Ric Flair situation didn't go to anybody's liking, really. I'm sorry for the way things worked out. I promise you, if you hire us back, there won't be any problems. Ah, uh, boy. Well, I'll give you one more shot. I do have one job. It's a, it's an event at a jewelry store. It's in the evening. B, what's up? What are you doing tonight? Nothing. What's up? I'm on the way to your house. Get your security shirt on, put on your black pants, and be looking spiffy, bro. We got to go. Are you serious? Yeah, man, listen. This is going to be the easiest gig we've ever done. All we've got to do is go to this jewelry extravaganza. Look pretty and make sure nothing gets stolen. The kicker is I'm going to give you my half of tonight's take. What? That's it. That's simple, bro. Easy money, baby. Hurry up, B, hurry up. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Jeez, Bobby. Come on, boy. Come on, come on. Why did you throw the horn? Well, I was trying to let you know I was hit. I I'm still hurting, remember? You ain't got to do nothing, dude. You're going to make money, man, so you can help pay some of your bills, cuz. So pumped we got some extra work. Let's do it. Go get it, baby. Here we go. All right, boy, you ready for this? Well, maybe that Cassie don't know what she's talking about. Maybe, maybe you are trying to look after me. I'm trying to look after you, dude. I know you can't do repos right now, but I'm trying to help you with your bills and stuff. Dude, we're going to have more fun than a freaking hippie at a hula hoop convention. Gentlemen, Robert Taylor. I'm Mr. Shirley, it's Mr. Bradley. Mr. Taylor? It's, it's nice Pleasure to meet you, sir. This is our grand event, and we've got some major pieces here I don't want any of the guests bothered, I expect you to be able to handle it. 
Not a problem. Okay. Uh, thank you. No problem. Thank you. Where do you want to stand? Right, well, look, right here. I can see about 90% of the store. I'm going to go over there. You go over here. Okay. This place is filling up quick, cuz. But they're going to want some serious business. There's going to be some serious cash in here. Easy gig, baby. I told you. It's a pretty sweet deal. <laughs> oh, you ain't got right here. I'm going to go this end. Okay. Let's try to really monitor the middle. Yes, ma'am. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. No, Sam God. Davis, no, Bobby, Bobby. Dude, I need to avoid him. Just let it go, man. We're here to do a job. Just notice me. <laughs> Mr. Shirley, how are you, sir? Yeah, oh, 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 Bobby, get over here, he comes. <laughs> Mr. Shirley. How are you, sir? Is this something you need, sir? Man, I see you got the job you deserve. Do it. We both did, didn't we? Well, you guys have a good evening. You look great. Fantastic uniform. You are perfect for that job. <laughs> I can't believe that mug won the election. You know, tonight's all about Bobby. And I got to put anything about Sam Davis way behind me. Ronnie. I got my eyes on all this jewelry right on the counter. Pulling pieces out everywhere. I mean, I'm watching four pieces right here. Yeah, I got several pieces over here myself. Have you anything else to show us that uh, the bigger the better? Can you see the, um, the necklaces right here? Okay, um... Okay. It was just there like one second ago. Ron, can you, can you come here please, Ron? Sir. Sir, okay. Yeah. The next, we have a necklace. Okay, go on. Who's the last person to touch it? Oh, you know what? He was standing over here touching it. Who was? Who? The security guard. Bobby? Yes. The necklace. Where is the necklace? I don't know. You, you it was told here me. moments ago. You I told me to quit finding it. Is there something going on here? Nothing that concerns you, Mayor Davis. What's the problem? Very expensive necklace is gone right now. The security guard was touching it. He was at, he was touching it. I asked him to stop, and he got upset should. with me. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt something like that. She's trying to say you took his necklace. Yes, exactly. Oh no, lady. Yes, you I were. No, thief. Oh, screw you, Sam. You, you gonna call me a liar? I'm the damn security, exactly. and you gonna call me a liar? I, I think you we need to call the police. Back. Oh, yeah. I asked oh. you to stop touching it. No, you didn't. Yes, man, this mayor knows. Liar. Okay, I'm a liar. Liar. We got a problem, no, and we need some officers here. Okay. I'm calling him a liar. Please get him here. You never touched this necklace. Can. No. What? Hey, the police are all on the way. They'll be here in a couple of minutes. Why don't you take your nose, turn it back around, and mind your own business? Hey, it's, this is my Watch business. This, the mayor of the city. I don't care who he is, brother. He has nothing to do with this situation. Who do you think you are? And if you don't want me here, I don't have to be here. Goodbye. Not a problem. Let's go, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Let's get out of here. I think you guys need to wait on the police. I think you need to mind your own business. I think Bobby, you here. need to wait right here till the police get here. I if you, know what's, Bobby, let's if you go. two know what's good for you, you Come need on. to wait right here. here. Neither one of y'all are leaving. Yes, here, 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 here Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? What's going on? He was touching the piece of jewelry. I asked him to stop, okay? I turned around for a few seconds. When I turned back, it was gone. Okay. Did you see it in his hands? He okay. was the last one to touch so you it. Saw it. You saw it. I yeah. saw it in his Thank possession. You. He had it. 
lying. You were telling a lie. You, you were damn lying. I was I was you a lie, Sam Davis. Wherever these two boys are, there's always trouble. Are you willing to make a statement? Absolutely. Are you willing to make a statement? You know where to find me, sir. Yes, you do. You willing to come down and make a statement? I ain't going nowhere. Hell no. This is your chance. To I show. ain't going. I'm telling you right now. Come on. Sam Davis is framing me. I'm innocent. Come on. Don't put your hands on me. Stop. Don't you put your hands on me. Ow, can't you see him hurt? Don't put your hands on me. You ain't done nothing wrong. Get your head back. Get your head back. Have a seat. I'm gonna come get you, Bobby. Give me a damn.